up guys it's your boy killmonger and uh this video this episode in the rags to riches is actually going to be an episode where we change the name of our series we kind of give you an update as to where we're at with this game and why we haven't uploaded consistently like the past two three days i don't think i've had to upload and kind of sort of vent my frustrations on this fifa installment and why i think since fifa 12 this is by far been the worst one and i really don't understand what ea were thinking when it comes to half the things to start it off basic necessities aren't even a thing in this game so as you can see right now on my screen i'm over on active squad and there's literally a player face missing and now i get that doesn't mean anything but it's just annoying when it's like a little something so minuscule that you either have to flip back and forth go in and out to to see remove him from squad add him to squad like my murders has essentially been like this for a week and i do not understand why then you have other stuff like you go into foot you go into online drafts and i don't have a token right now so i can't show you guys but essentially you can search an online draft game match up with somebody that person backs out you get back to your squad menu so you can go to search for their game and you won't be able to search until you back out of ultimate team and then come back in because there's a glitch in the system ea still haven't checked it you want to move on to pro clubs there's a glitch in pro clubs right now to where if you're running a 4-3-2-1 or 4-1-2-1-2 anything that's a narrow formation with a single cam it will make the cam on defense go out to the right mid or left wing and the formation automatically changes to a 4-4-2 when you're defending. And if you don't do that, it drops your 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 player rating down to about like 2.0 or 1.5, which when you're playing pro clubs, you don't want to have 1.5 and you're actually playing the correct position you are. But so if you play your correct spot, your rating is going to drop. And if you play out of position in a spot that makes no sense, your rating goes up. But have EA even cared about pro clubs the past five years? Probably not, because everything's about ultimate team. So, literally, I, I only played eight matches this past weekend league. I don't even know. I don't even know what I play, what I placed. I have I literally have no idea. I don't even know how many wins I got. Let me see if I could do leaderboards or something. See leaderboards aren't even available at this time. Okay, I placed silver two. So I pretty much gave up. I had still had 17 matches left. I was getting DC'd. I was getting matched against full icon squads. Another thing I wanna discuss is if this game is supposed to be taken as an eSport seriously, why is it when you have Call of Duty, you have CSGO, you have League of, Le League of Legends, all these other big time major eSports, when they have qualifiers, do, when you go to qualify for a COD event, are there guns that are banned from you using? Or is it because, say like you're not a level 55 in pubs and you go into your custom games to play a qualifying match, or a GB match or S and D match on some website. Why is it that for all those games they unlock every gun no matter what rank you are? League of Legends, every character is unlocked. CSGO, everything's unlocked, no matter how much you play, no matter what your rank, because it's supposed to be a competition where everyone has the same chance and the best guy will win. But yet FIFA's logic is we're gonna make the qualifiers online and we're gonna allow people who have spent anywhere between ten to fifty thousand dollars just on coins and points to make stacked icon squads and then we're gonna let them play qualifying matches against teams who might have a 20k full gold team so you watch all these top players who qualify for these esport events and essentially all you need is two things you need a bank account that gets you five or six icons minimum because no matter what you do you could be a Don of Dons. If you're playing someone who is half decent or not even, I wouldn't say half decent, someone who is good at this game and then they and they have four icons and you don't, you could be the best of the best. It's not even worth trying. Then you factor in time finishing to pair with that 
and EA keep releasing patch after patch to nerf time finishing, but every single patch, there's always the key note that says time finishing will always will coordinate more towards what the in-game card stats say. So let's let's go see. I have some pro players on my friends list, I'm pretty sure. Now a lot of pros have started to hide their squads so no one can see like what they're using or what their meta is, but I Pretty sure I might have one or two. Don't tell me this. So I have to go and fix. Okay, I have to go and fix a squad so that we can go and look at it. But I remember I used to have Gorilla, used to have Tass, used to have all these people, the hashtag guys, everyone I had on. And why is it that everyone who seems to be qualified, people who place well at these events, all seem to have the same type of team and the same highest rated player? It doesn't, it doesn't really make sense to me how you can go and have a qualifying thing. You want to have your qualifying online, sure, that's great. But if Foot Champs is supposed to be a competitive game mode, go ahead and give us the same unlocked game that you're giving all these people at the events. And allow everyone to use the same players. Because if we all had icons, I guarantee you half these people who are placing top 100 consistently, if you're great, I'm sure it wouldn't even affect you. But there would be a lot more of a balance if you had everyone shooting with an Icon Ronaldo time finesse versus one guy might just might score four goals in a row with a Ronaldo time finesse and then you over here have 65, 70% possession but his counter attack with his Icons is so good it's like forcing you to not even try to play the game. So let's see if we can, now this is a random kid on my list. Let's see if I still have. Ooh. Here we go. Gorilla's team. Explain to me why there isn't, there is not a single part of this team that you can look at and be like, wow, that's a weakness. He even has a striker foot champ Neymar. Well, not foot champ. You have a Champions League Neymar. All his guys, every single one of these cards would be considered a broken card in the game. That's OP. Why is it that he is using all this and he isn't using re a regular gold 100k squad for foot champs? But his squad right here could very easily match up with somebody who is using like a gold Jesus, gold Martial, gold Willian. And you're telling me that just off rip that that's a balanced outcome to go for the game. And the re main reason why he has a squad is because he makes YouTube videos as well and it's a long term investment. I get that. If you have the $5,000, $10,000 to go and drop on FIFA points to give yourself as many icons, as many coins as in the beginning as you can, that's great. No one's mad at Gorilla here. What I'm upset about is you say that you want to create something as an eSport and make it competitive and ex please, please, please explain to me how having an online qualifier where you can get matched up against teams like this or better and you only have your 50 or 100k because maybe you actually have to work a job or you just don't have the two, three grand to spend on packs even if you're the greatest, how are you supposed to compete? And then if you are going and struggling to get a win, you're having to get one goal and then park the bus. Because if you try to play the game normally, like regular real life FIFA, you're going to sit here and he's just going to waltz it to the 18, hit a green time finesse, probably drop five or six on your head. So you're not going to be passing it around. Your whole objective is going to be to try and squeeze out one goal and then play park the bus ultra D on until the game's done which to me isn't it isn't soccer it isn't football it isn't anything it's just trash like draft mode right now is playing better than regular seasons because draft mode is designed to be arcadey regular seasons and foot champs has all the aspects of being arcadey but it wasn't supposed to be that so essentially what that's done for me personally with this game is it makes foot champs terribly enjoyable T terribly unenjoyable 
I've thought about, do I just focus on division rivals? As you can see, I didn't even get rank one this week because this is the first time I've played this game to record this video just to let you guys know what's going on. It's gotten to the point where I've thought about, do I focus on rivals and then try to get back into squad battles? But you play squad battles on legendary or ultimate, they're hitting time finesses left and right like it's nobody's business too. So that becomes not fun because I'm like, this isn't realistic. And I sit here and say, I try to play this game every day, trying to play the foot champs, want to get the million coins, want to show you guys how to survive and invest and enjoy the game and still maintain somewhat of a life and like you don't have to grind it all day to do that. But everything set up with this game is the only way you are going to truly enjoy it or truly enjoy foot champs is if you have meta tier players. And all these pros will show you a five game stretch where they'll, they'll take a 100k squad and they'll go online and they'll, and they'll do great that's fine you're not using the 100k squad the whole year how many of us have went and took an 100 100k squad went 12 and 0 went 12 and 3 went 12 and 4 and all of a sudden you turn around and you're playing met meta team after 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 meta team this past sunday there was a nine game stretch where every single game i played against veron ramos and, and courtois all hyperlinked every single game i'm sitting here saying that's what f almost 400k worth in just three players and i guarantee you maybe only 15 to 20 i would say even less 15 or 15 percent or less of the fifa players have enough money to put that much into two center backs and 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 the goalkeeper so the only way you could even attract that is if you're playing this game all day long which is what fifa wants you to do or you get lucky in a pack or you turn around and drop your hard-earned money in real life and drop it all on fifa points and then to complement all that the game plays terrible we're gonna lag you out even though you're winning if there if you if you have a tie and that and, and that person lags out you might end up getting the loss if that person is up to nothing to you and you're on the you score two one and they and they lag out and they have a lead, you're still getting the loss. So you don't even have a chance to come back. Then they, they don't even cancel the game out. And I already told you guys the the issues with pro clubs. So where that leaves me sitting right here as someone who's like trying to create content for YouTube and make it enjoyable, this game right now is not enjoyable. So I'm gonna treat this game as EA has essentially treated it, which is, I'll play it, I'll try to make the most of it, but as far as taking things seriously, I'm not. Like, if we're up, to, if we're down to do some foot champs, we'll do some. If I'm getting upset and ticked off about it, I'm not going to do it. And we can look at trading, we can look at other things, but just the way things going in general, the way that the games are out there right now, Battle Royale is the move right now shooters are becoming better and better every year and i'm the i'm the type of gamer to where i have to focus solely on one game in order to get good at it i did that with cod when black ops 3 came out i pretty much didn't even touch fifa that year because that was such a good game now black ops 4 is out and i've been watching more and more blackout people seem to be enjoying that greatly i'm looking to get into that and i'm sitting here just waiting on fifa like when you're going to do something to like balance this out if they took out time finishing this game would be good in two seconds or not even take it out just nerf it for everybody not just if you have a low rated card but all these pros having icon cards it doesn't matter how many times you nerf time finishing and you're not you not you don't even have to be a pro any card that has over 90 finishing, if you hit a green time finish, it's going to go in. Regardless of whatever you're doing, it's going to go in. I've been beating kids 4 nothing, and they end up coming back at me. I still win 4-3, or I'll end up tying 4-4 just because they hit three time finesses. 30 yards and in, it's going in. And they keep patching it and saying this, that, the third, yet the same stuff still happens. People still get DC'd. People still just get random EAAs that makes no sense. You could say that they fixed defending a little bit, but there's no balance with defending. It's either crazy OP, you just let the AI do it, or they make it terrible and the AI's trash. There's no balance in between. So as a FIFA fan for 10 plus years, since FIFA 2004, with Henri on the cover, I am upset. And 
I hope EA eventually decided to turn around and change something, but I'm not banking on it. So as far as content goes on my channel, I'm definitely looking to branch out, do more Call of Duty videos, maybe try to get back into Fortnite again, debating on getting a PlayStation because they have the rights to almost every game out there these days and the exclusives. And the more and more I'm looking at it, Microsoft and Xbox really isn't putting anything out for their people. And I've been with Xbox since day one, but I actually originally had a PS2 and then switched over to Xbox once the 360 came out. And I've been with Xbox since then. But the more and more I'm looking at it, like PlayStation has got a war fully locked down. And that game, I think, won game of the year. And we don't even get to see that. Because PlayStation locked their stuff down. Sony has been locking down these games in the dark quietly for months, years in advance. And then when they come out and it's like, oh, Sony exclusive, PlayStation exclusive. Or, oh, we're going to drop this stuff on PlayStation one month in advance and give it to Xbox one month later. And then you look at all the, the eSports and all the orgs and everything you want to get into playing on console. Everything is on PlayStation. So the more and more I'm thinking about it... I think I'm going to be looking to pick up a PlayStation, and maybe I'll play both, but I might more switch over and make PlayStation the primary. I think I would keep FIFA on Xbox, just because like, I enjoy playing FIFA on Xbox. I have a lot of friends who play FIFA on Xbox, but with everything else, content-wise, PlayStation is looking like the way to move. So I don't know if you guys want to give me some feedback on that, but I think... I think that might be the wave as well. But this is just a quick update video on what we're going to do with this series. I think I'm going to change the series name to My FIFA Life and just upload the episodes whenever we can. Still try to upload something every day, but just make it way more casual and not necessarily trying to chase the money, chase the coin. Because in order to do that on here, we got to play a lot of games. And these games are not like working out at all. Half the time, the servers don't even work. So I'm sure I'll have a video up tomorrow. I ran through a foot draft, got nothing in the rewards, so maybe I'll put that up tomorrow. I'm about to play some games quick right now and see how Divisions is right now before I go to sleep. Maybe I'll have the COD, uh, my first COD video out for you guys tomorrow, who knows. But, as always, just like, comment, subscribe. I have all my links in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree, disagree with me. If you have any feedback or opinions on anything I said. And tomorrow, I'll definitely have another video up for you, whether it's COD, FIFA, Fortnite, one of, the, one, of the, one of the three. We'll figure it out. But until tomorrow, I hope you guys have a good one.